Hey folks, Randy here with Pete's RV TV today. Um, uh, we're in the gravel pit uh, behind uh, Pete's RV, the South Burlington, Vermont dealership, and I'm going to give you a couple tips on uh, the best way to put your new camper uh, on your campsite and get it leveled up so you guys can enjoy your, uh, your camping weekend with your new RV. Um, today we're here, uh, we've got a brand new uh, Cougar X-Lite uh, 28 RBS that we're going to be using for our test model. And so I'm just going to give you a couple tips and uh, here we go. All right, so here we are uh, backing into our campsite. Um, so all uh, what you want to do is just kind of line up and pick your spot that you want the camper to be on the campsite and then uh, go ahead and back right up uh, onto the site. That looks pretty good right there. All right, so now that we've backed on uh, our desired spot on uh, our campsite at, uh, at our local campground or wherever we might be camping this weekend, um, good judges, I know we don't have any trees right here in, uh, in the gravel pit, but most campsites do have some trees. So how I judge the distance of my slide um, uh, for trees that may be in the area is I, I simply put my back against the camper and put my arm out. Now the end of my fingers represents uh, a slide that's fully out. So if there's any trees close by, this is a, a great way to kind of measure it with uh, all the stuff that you have available on you at all times so make sure there's no trees in the way end of the fingers is a good judge okay here we are on our next step uh, as you can see I still have the trailer hooked to the truck and I've gone inside and I've actually run my slide out out um, now when we put a slide out out that's gonna um, shift the weight on the trailer and actually make it lean to the slide out side a little bit so we need to compensate for that um, um, when we get the slide out, out and we get on the site to make this thing level now on this camper here uh, I've installed uh, um, a couple levels on the side that we can purchase uh, in the Pete's RV store um, or Pete's RV online um, this just really helps level in the camper. Um, easy spots to see as we're, as we're doing it on the driver's side of the vehicle. Um, so I'm looking at my level here and it looks like we're leaning a little bit to the slide side as I mentioned we may be. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, mark where my wheels are and I'm going to uh, pull the truck ahead a little bit, make some adjustments under the wheels so we level this camper out. All right, so here we are in the back of our trailer. Now, I've marked my wheels and I've pulled the truck ahead just a hair because um, I'm going to back up on uh, to this block here to help level the camper out. Now, um, a lot of people think that they can level a camper with the stabilization jacks. Um, that's not really the case. These guys are just more meant to st stabilize the camper you know give us stability once we are level they're not meant to lift the weight of the camper um, to compensate for the weight that the slide uh, transverses onto this side so a um, little misconception there but if you do it this way you're going to be right and you're not going to hurt your jacks um, so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get back in the truck and i'm going to back up onto this block here which will lift this side of the camper a hair give us a nice level floor inside all right, so uh, you can see I've backed the truck up now uh, with the trailer and we've backed it onto our tri-leveler and I've checked the levels in the front. So we've got our left to right level now. We've compensated for putting the slide out out. Um, so what I want to do at this point is go ahead and put my wheel chuck in front of this wheel here so the trailer can't uh, roll forward once I unhook the truck. Once I unhook the truck, we can get our front to back level and then we're going to be camping. So as you can see here, um, we've backed up onto the tri-leveler and I have installed the wheel chuck in front of the wheel. Um, so when we unhook the trailer from the truck, we won't roll forward. All right, so as you can see, I've unhooked the truck from the camper and at this point, we've already got our left to right level as we saw a little bit earlier in the video. Now we want to get our front to back level. Um, so with again, the truck unhooked from the camper, I'm going to look at the level on the side right here and I'm seeing I'm sitting a little bit high in the front from unhooking from the truck. So I want to go ahead and uh, use my tongue jack to lower the camper. Um, this works really easy with an electric tongue jack as well. So that looks pretty good right there. Um, so now we've got our left to right level, we've got our front to back level, we can go ahead and uh, put down the stabilization jacks. Okay, so here we are at the stabilization jacks. If uh, um, your camper has electric uh, stabilizers on it, you can go ahead and run them down. Um, this particular one here has the manual operation. I like to use uh, my screw gun with the appropriate size socket on it. run the jack to the ground and snug it up. So to finish up, I ran around to the other three jacks on the camper and went ahead and put those down. So we're level left to right, front to back, all the stabilizer down, we're ready to start camping. I hope these tips helped you on getting your new unit onto your site and thanks for thinking Pete's RV. 
and happy camping.